Hello, and in this screencast for Apache Isis, I just want to talk about deleting objects. So I have a customer here, and it's got a collection of orders, and I now have a remove action, uh, which can be used to remove or delete objects, and um, the code for that is here. So we're basically using the repository service to remove, which is to say to delete the object. Uh, there's also a choices and a default uh, supporting action as well. So if we go to remove an object, there's the choices that show me the list of the two products. And then if we go to the uh, console, you can see that that's done a delete and then it's updated the customer to bump up the timestamp of optimistic locking. And if I remove the last one, then, well, the same thing happens, which is fine. Um, let's clear that away just so we can start over. Let's add some o objects in, in again. So, uh, bop. And bap. So those are those going in. Uh, this, this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete the entire uh, customer. So let's just do that. Are we sure? Yes, we're sure. And now that's gone. I'm down to five from six. Looking at what was um, actually executed there, you can see that uh, both the two um, associated orders as well as the customer have been deleted. Looking at the code though, just want to point out that if we go finding the action to delete, you might remember we have this in a contributed uh, action. So uh, deletable here is, is in our case, it's the customer. So that's the deletable object. And so we're just basically going uh, the same method, really, remove, which is to say delete the customer. There's no mention at all about the associated uh, orders. Uh, they're basically being automatically deleted by the, uh, by the ORM, by Data Nucleus. OK, so that's what I want to just cover here. Um, just talking about deletion of objects and cascading deletes. If that makes sense, give it a go.